analog records, popularly called vinyl, have experienced a tremendous comeback, um, both in the mainstream music industry, um, but also in various independent niches. This happened exactly at the time when digitalization of culture became an obvious fact in everybody's consciousness. But then all of a sudden something quite paradoxical happens and exactly when digitalization is all around us, we observe the comeback, the resurrection, the rebirth of the cool of the analog record. The question simply is why? Why would that happen? As a cultural sociologist, the way I approach um, social and cultural phenomena is to look at different kinds of uh, data. Part of it uh, is discursive data, mm, discursive analysis, the, an the analysis of what people say. And part of it is uh, generated by myself through interviews. In this particular case, those who produce and those who buy and consume uh, music on vinyl. And on the other hand, it's a discursive analysis of um, various media texts. And that is uh, narratives that are being produced uh, by different people. What is also important is what anthropologists and sociologists call participant observation. Taking part in different uh, events, observing people as they do what they do and trying to figure out uh, what kind of meanings are attached to particular uh, practices. The role of a researcher is to try to reconstruct a bigger picture that somehow could approximate a, a certain kind of uh, synthesis of all those views that brings us closer to the understanding of a cultural phenomenon such as the comeback of the analog medium in the digital time. I realized that there are certain recurrent themes and tropes that belong to four different categories or four different dimensions. First is sound, the, the audio dimension, and, and that's of course uh, obvious we're talking about a musical uh, medium, uh, music format. Analog sound is different. Many people uh, narrate that kind of uh, audio experience as a warm sound, a richer sound, as opposed to a more clinical uh, uh, digital sound. Digital sound is pure signal. Uh, it includes no noise. For some people, this is an advantage. For other people, however, the exclusion of noise uh, uh, means that something is missing. A lot of people emphasize the haptics of the medium. The fact that it's a tangible medium, a concrete, object that you can handle. This also means uh, that it's an eminently collectible medium. This is something that can be given and received as a gift, something that uh, represents uh, the actual uh, real value. Another important aspect is visuality and that of course uh, comes with a vinyl record being an actual object and with the fact that uh, records have um, cover art included. They come with uh, particularly designed sleeves. If we can think of music as the most abstract of arts, then uh, records give tangible, visual uh, a form to music. They materialize uh, music, whereas uh, digitality further immaterializes already abstract uh, artistic, uh, artistic form. Finally, what is important is the actual buying experience. Unless you shop online, which is of course right now possible, uh, analog records are very much associated with physical record stores. You go to particular places, dedicated stores uh, and shops that have their own culture around them. These are social spaces when you interact with other people. And what is very important in contradistinction to um, and digital uh, buying practices is that in stores you open yourself to serendipity. There's a degree of randomness when it comes to discovering new music. Whereas uh, in the digital world, 
uh, algorithms uh, already decide for us. They already know uh, probably better than uh, we do what we want, what we need. So the degree of randomness is, is quite different. When we put all these things together, we realize that analog records uh, create a, a certain kind of culture around them that is equivalent to slow food. While fast food may be very convenient and sometimes uh, uh, necessary and important for us, it definitely doesn't exhaust the possibilities of culinary experiences. And it's similar uh, with music. Analog records are conducive to ritualistic use. They may not be the most convenient, sometimes they are downright cumbersome, but they create opportunities for uh, uh, musical rituals, for ritualistic engagement with music, and therefore uh, listening to music can become uh, an experience. Technological progress, technological change doesn't necessarily mean improvement. Of course, digitality means portability, and this means convenience, and this is something that we want. But our lives are not just about convenience and our engagement with music is not just about portability. It's also about other kinds of experiences, audible, haptic, uh, visual experiences. And for this reason, uh, digitality is not all there is. It doesn't exhaust all the possibilities of good, uh, pleasurable uh, experiences. This is something that the assumption of inevitable uh, improving linear pro progress doesn't take into account. And sociologically, we have to be aware of the fact that behind uh, every progress, behind every technological change, there are organizational agents, there are institutions that have their own interests, political or economic interests. And from this point of view, this, of course, is not inevitable. Rather, it is socially constructed. As human beings who still feel and hear in the analog way, we have a variety of desires. We have different needs that cannot be satisfied just with one particular thing and are not reducible to the question of standardized convenience. Just like music is not reducible to data or portability, or it shouldn't be or cannot be reduced to the question of greater profitability and supposedly linear um, progress. This unlikely story of the return of the analog in the digital uh, age uh, tells us something about the potential of critique and potential of experiencing difference and this variability of our needs uh, and experiences. And as anthropologist Claude Lévi-Strauss would say, uh, this unlikely story is simply good to think with.